G'day. Hey, how are you going? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Hello, Vera. How old is she? Uh, she's coming up on 13. Years old, okay. Well, they will if they want to. I mean, oh, she won't. <laughs> Good job. Look at you. Pretty scary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I'm getting attacked by turtles. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Eel. <laughs> Do you think they're hungry? I think they're hungry. Wow. Yeah. So this is a Townsall Billabong Sanctuary. Yeah. No. Oh really? You go first. You're welcome to have a pat, just don't go for the face. <laughs> so they clear of their animals' faces and mouths and uh, yeah. usually you're pretty good. They won't hurt you. They're very gentle. Yeah. Very gentle. <laughs> we used to have a couple that actually used to live under our house. Oh yeah, know? they do. Yeah. 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 But these aren't bad guys to have around. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> They're definitely fun to have around. Um, unfortunately, they do get mistaken as snakes pretty often because when the limbs are hidden under, say, leaf litter, which is what they love to hide and camouflage in, with that coloration, they, you know, people do um, assume that they are snakes. So sometimes, unfortunately, they do get the raw end of the stick because people think, oh no, it's a snake. But usually, when people figure out it's a lizard, they're like, oh, it's okay. Here he comes. He wants to eat us. Hey Jojo, remember never smile at a crocodile. But you're pretty safe here, it's an alligator. I'm smiling. These guys, they specialize in feeding on anything. So, I'm just trying to get to do that slap noise again. Whoa. You guys are the hardest fighting creatures on earth. Oh, 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 Right now, when 
um, when Jupiter um, was trapped, and um, oh, he wasn't trapped, he was caught. Um, the department has a policy, a management plan about what happens when crocodiles are sighted in areas. I know we um, used to say that the southernmost range that you would find these estuarine crocodiles was the Tropic of Capricorn, which in the case of Queensland is Rockhampton. Uh, they've gradually been making their way south. Who knows whether that is climate change, the weather, the water is warming up, or more crops and they're having to extend their territory. Um, unsure. But the, the recent survey that the Department of Departments um, conducted, they didn't find any concentrations of the odd crocodile. Hello, bud. I love this. Hello, Bilby. Oh, it's a little bit hot. I don't think they want you to climb him, eh? Come on, Bilby, climber. Yeah. See, he's big, like he's all crooked. I wouldn't. See, he's crooked, big. Jojo? <laughs> Hello, Richie. Hello, Richie. Oh, very, se very <laughs> sensual. How much can your koala be? Are you relaxed, mate? Don't really look it. Shot around here, darling. Mm. You're doing well. Jojo and the turtles. Can feed him for me, Joe? Or someone? I'll do it. Where's the pallet? Where's the pallet? Where's the pallet? Here. Ah! 
<laughs> duck, duck, goose. Help me, someone! Help me! I'm gonna push him down! Help me, grandson! Help me! Good job. Pretty cool. Nice. Oh, no, 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 uh, but they're bred with these cool and unique colour patterns uh, for captive um, pet, pet snakes there. So being a carpet python, we do have quite a few uh, big range of carpet pythons throughout Australia, varying all in their looks depending on where they're found. Around here we get coastal carpet pythons, um, head up to Darwin, Darwin carpet pythons, down on the central coast New South Wales, diamonds, pythons, and southwest carpet pythons, inland carpet pythons, and there's a few others. Um, so they're pretty common species of snakes around Australia, especially as pets as well. Being a python, they have no fangs, meaning they have no venom, so they do rely on constricting their prey. Now these guys are more of an arboreal species. You can see her anchoring on there, using her tail, using those abs to, to climb back up on herself there. So these guys are mostly hunting up in the trees. They're gonna eat things like birds, bats, possums, whatever they can find up there. They're not too fussy. Hi here is Dudley. Well, he does look cute and innocent at the moment. Looks very cute. Um, he is going to grow up to be the world's largest reptile and the largest land um, apex predator as well. So he is a saltwater or estuarine crocodile. Um, although it's pretty silly, we have two species of crocodile here in Australia, uh, often called saltwater and freshwater, except both of them have a salt gland enabling them to live in saltwater, and both of them mostly live in freshwater. So not a very smart way to determine the two species so we prefer to call them estuarine crocodiles because that's where you're most likely going to find them in the wild. So they can, with that salt gland, they can live in the ocean for weeks without getting sick from that salt water but the, salt, the ocean is not a very good place to hunt or find food. These guys have worked out that every other animal has to come down to the water to drink. They're going to do that in the fresh water. So these guys are pretty lazy, they are ambush predators, they don't go out of their way to sort of hunt or chase or find their food, they wait for their food to come to them. Facing his tail, you have to hold it nice and firm, nice and high, and then if you go up here, so squeeze on his bone, because then you can hold really tight and it's not going to hurt him. You got him. Yeah. Look at our thing, Sammy. Turn around with him. Make sure you hold him tight, sir. Here you go, Alex, you can touch the snake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I like the one. It's not actually that bad. No. I like the snake. I like the snake. Very cool. Very cool. It's like an episode of No, that's a big spider. So these southern hairy nose wombats are found uh, through South Australia, across to Western Australia, really dry, arid region. We also have the bear nose or common wombat, which we have Reuben who is used for our photo session. They're found down all along the east coast, down to Tassie and into SA as well. And these are third species, but you won't see them anywhere in captivity. So that's the northern hairy nose wombat. 
they're the only ones found up here in Queensland as well. But back in 1980, they realised there's only 35 individuals left in the wild. So they're now in a protected area near Emerald Hub called Epping State Forest. The numbers are back up on between about 300 and 350. So it's still not a huge number, definitely better than 30. But also a reminder that we can't let that happen to our other wombat species either. So they do eat all sorts of plant material, including leaves and roots, moss and mushrooms as well. Here their absolute favourite treat is sweet potato and corn. So I did hide some in the bottom of that box for him to find. Um, he did just come in and tip the whole box over before and he decided to eat the paper instead. Um, so he did go on a diet last week because of his weight so I think he's just eating anything he can now. He's also quite flexible as he just demonstrated there. You're showing off. Oh, you're showing off. He made doors. <laughs> Didn't get his coffee this morning.